what's going on, people? So, show of hands, how many out there remember summer, right? Yeah, it used to happen. It was a thing for a, for a long while. Kind of came to a screeching halt this year. But anyways, technically it's still going on if you look at calendars and the solstice or something or other. But not for much longer. Which got me to thinking, I never did the other part of my little summer shoe collection video thing. Remember I did that a while ago with the Prestos? Well, now it's time for round two, right? And this time we're talking about Hirachis. So the thing for me, right, before I started really branching out and like all those various Air Maxes and Ultra Boosts came around, the Hirachis and the Prestos were kind of like my thing. So I kind of associate those with summer. I mean, they're lightweight shoes. You can use them for running. You can use them casually, whatever you're looking for. They're breathable, all that good stuff. So they've got all the check boxes met as far as a good summer shoe, in my opinion. Some people would say that, yeah, that makes sense, but they're still ugly. I get it. Not everybody's really into the whole press or the whole Hirachi look. Hey, it is what it is. But if you're one of those people and you're watching this video, why are you watching this video? Anyways, moving on. Let's go ahead and jump on into this, right? It's not a whole lot of them to go through, but why dilly dally? Let's get on through this. So first off, before we get too deep into this, you probably see some of the numbers are different here. I'm going to say true to size on the Prestos, right? They are a bit of a snug fit, right? But also, if your size isn't available, I would go up, not down. Just personal opinion. Wide-footed people, ask another wide-footed person what they think. Because I'm not your guy. So first up, man, like this right here, the wheat, the flax, whatever you want to call it, I saw these and I really wanted them and I almost waited too long because this was the last size that foot locker back in El Paso had. So now they're mine. There's also a pair of like, up tempos, those air more up tempos I wanted, same colorway. Didn't quite have them. You know that I saw those and I was like, I'll just get these, right? So part of me still wish that I'd got the other things. Okay, this right here, part of the Breathe Pack. If you saw my review of the Breathe Pack, you know that I went through a fair amount to make these happen. Because I got these, probably what's in that box, and then two similarly colored Prestos. Yeah, have I worn? I have not. These have not even been out of the box. Or at least not onto the pavement anyway. What year was this? 2000... I don't even see it on there. Oh well. Wait, no, there it is. 2016. 2016. Like, man, like, these, these need to be worn at some point, like, soon. Because I'm not really, like, into the whole, like, keeping shoes DS for no real reason thing. You know what I'm saying? Next up, yep, yeah, called it. So these, which, which have been worn. The other part of that puzzle. So this would be, was Arctic Orange, the last one was Lemon Chiffon, I think I'm saying that right, going by what I heard in a Panic at the Disco song, that's how I heard him pronounce it. Anyways, so these right here, also part of the brief pack, this whole the super meshy thing, a lot more breathable than your standard Garashi, which is still pretty breathable. So there's that for you, put this little order slip back in there, and keep this train rolling. See, we're just about to the halfway point already. See, quick and painless, in and out. This, this, this pair right here, now this is one that I forget about. So you kind of look at these, I don't know if it's picking up in the camera or whatever, but they're a bit of an iridescent thing. These are things are dusty. It's a bit of an iridescent sort of thing going on with these, which kind of catches my attention a lot. So that's why I have these. And this was one of my favorite pairs of Prestos. Was this the first pair? This might have been the first pair, actually. I'm, I'm thinking it was. I'm think if it's not these, it's one of those other two boxes. But yeah, right there. Another press or another Hirachi. Yeah, so like I said, that might have been pair number one. Patient Zero. You know? Seems like a place where I'd start for something like that. But, let's see, yeah, if it's not those, it's these. I just can't remember for sure. Now these, I wore these a while ago, got some comments on the gram and on the YouTubes and whatnot. Well, like, oh, that's a pretty cool color. And it is, right? Which is why they said it. So here you go. This is what, Aquatone and something else. 
wolf gray and aqua tone. But yeah, pretty cool little color. Now here's a side story though for you. So when I ordered that shoe the first time, yeah, the first time, they didn't send it to me. They did send me a box, but it was this box right here, right? And if you're looking at this box, you know, like, those are clearly different, right? And when you look at the shoe itself, also very different, right? So this is a Mango Kobe 11. I don't know what was going on at Nike, but I ordered those. They sent me these. And at the time, I want to say, weren't these more expensive? Yeah, so since these were more expensive, I was like, well, I'm just going to keep these. And I'll order a new pair of those, right? Because why not? Because I like the color. I do. And so then later, I ordered those, and they sent me, like, the actual Hirachi, so that was cool. Because it's, it's not been a, a common occurrence for me to order something and not get what I want. The only other time that it happened that I can think of with Nike is the, well, if you saw my, like, weirdest shoe in the collection video, that thing. I'll, there will have been a link at the top, you know, so you can dig back into the uh, backlog and watch that. Speaking of the backlog, before we get moved on too much further here. So, if you were looking into doing that whole giveaway thing that's still open right now, just a little word of advice. The answer is in the video. It always is. I don't want to make people work too much. If anything, you might have to rewatch something a few times, but it's in the video, as I said. So, there's your little clue or hint or whatever you want to call that. So, moving on, we got this here. This is from the DNA pack that released maybe April or something like that. Earlier this year, I can't remember exactly when. So they had this, and then there's one other pair that you'll see in a second here. Now, the whole thing that they did was they took an original Hirachi colorway and an original Air Max colorway, switched them, and then they put these out. So you may recognize this from... A normal Air Max, right? And it still kind of has that same vibe. So I think it worked out pretty well. And this is a pretty awesome color. Which one do I like more between this and the red? I'm not quite sure. What do you think? What's your favorite one between those two? If you haven't seen both of them, give it a minute. You know what? I'll even leave this out here for you. So that way you don't have to commit it to memory. You can just look to the side of me. But oh yeah, clearly this one over that one or whatever. And yet another Hirachi. What do you know? This, what is, what is that? Got some grass on the side of this? Some turf? Anyways, so this right here, Ice Mint maybe? No, Fresh Mint. Fresh Mint. Ice Mint was something else. It was a Vapor Mint, or an Ultra Boost. So here you go, Fresh Mint. Now this is a shoe that I completely forgot that I own. I like this color. I think I wore these to a Chili Peppers, well, not to the Chili Peppers concert, but to Phoenix when I went for a Chili Peppers concert. Yeah, interesting color. Maybe not for everybody, but you know, it's a good summer colorway, right? That's the whole point of this video. And now, we've made it, people. We're almost there. This is the final piece of that puzzle, and you know what it is, because I already kind of talked about it. So, here we go. Now, you're looking at this, right? So, what do you guys think? Thinking team blue or team red, right? We're going SmackDown or we're going Raw. What's what's your poison? Pick your poison? Is that what people say? Do people still say that? Anyways, right here, same shoe as is to my right, just in red. Yep, this one came out first. This one came out second. Super comfortable stuff all around, though. Regardless of what your preference is, you can't go wrong with either. But that's just my opinion. Your opinion is what really matters because it's generally your money that you're spending. Don't listen to other people and let them tell you what to buy. All right, so there we go. We did it, people. We made it through this whole thing. As I said, I wanted to knock, it, knock this whole thing out, finish up my little summer shoes thing. And well, you still got like two weeks or so, maybe a week, I don't know. If you wanna go out there and enjoy your summer, do what you can to make that happen. Go run some trails or something, feed some turtles. Whatever you're into, go do that. For right now, I'm going to wrap this video up. So, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Come back later. I'm going to have a real short video right after this one that you probably don't care to watch. But, I mean, why not? Just do it anyway. Alright, later people.